All right, guys. So look at the chat already. We got uh, Pitch 59 here, Jeff Bitten. Uh, I met him after I met one of his sales guys. It was kind of uh, weird how that all kind of collided. We were doing a training here and somebody showed up I hadn't met before he introduced himself. And the only reason it was here is because we had posted online about our training and he knew one of the trainers. And he's like, went to school with him or something like that. So he just showed up to see what he was, he was talking about. This was Nick. Yeah. Yeah, Nick, so Nick showed up. And then within that week, Eric, y'all know Eric Jones. Eric sends me a text message that says, dude, you got to check this out. Um, and it was pitch 59. And he sent me your pitch card and said, um, I just uh, purchased three <laughs> for his different businesses, right? Three pitch cards. I'm like, okay, so I just met somebody. So I've, I've checked it out or whatever. So I, I love it. I signed up for it. I'm going to start using it. In fact, when we were in Cabo, um, I was sharing my old stuff. Here's my contact card and everything. And then I would follow it up with, oh, I got a better one I'm going to start using. Yeah. Like, <laughs> video on it, but I'm not using it yet. And so anyway, I ended up hooking you up with a couple of people from Cabo. They were like, oh, that sounds amazing. And then they've, they've signed up and she's scheduled to spread it out throughout her organization too. So thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. It, it is definitely a word of mouth thing, but that's really what it is. It's, it's a, a referral pitch card, making referrals easy to both give and to get. Um, as you guys know, Lynn and I, our whole business is on referrals and we don't have a tool like this. Um, I was explaining to Jeff, what I have when I refer out my people is I've got a vendor's uh, bookmark folder of their about me page on their website or whatever. So whenever somebody says they need an attorney or they need um, home warranty or I got my guys, right? And so I just copy and paste into a text and send them away from me and not even making a good three-way introduction like he's going to be talking about, but I'm sending them to their website. Here, here check these people out. It's real easy to copy and paste into a Facebook post when somebody's asking a question about those as well. So I'm super excited about that. You guys may have seen the little uh, trailer we did explaining about, so you know a little bit about what's coming, but I'm gonna let Jeff come up here now and we'll, uh, he's gonna share his screen. Hey, you guys, put on Zoom. Um, he's gonna share his screen, kind of give you a demo and then kind of like dive into what the capabilities are with uh, Pitch 59. So we call it a pitch card, right? You're gonna have a pitch card. And I committed to him when we were on Zoom to do a video for mine. So I actually just did it this morning. <laughs> so I might change it, but you'll, he, 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 I think he's going to pull that up. So come on up, Jeff. Cool. Introduce yourself, uh, how else you, you, you want, whatever you can do. I'm just kidding. Okay, let's go. Just let me know when you want to share screen. All righty. Thank you. Um, great to meet all of you. My name is Jeff. I am the CEO of Pitch 59, and we're a branded company. We just launched this last year. We've been working on this for about four and a half years. Um, but let me tell you real quick before I share my screen uh, why we created Pitch 59. So I had done door-to-door -door sales for four years in Southern California selling pest control. And then I came back to Idaho and where I was going to school and I started a, a carpet cleaning company. And I started growing this carpet cleaning company and I went door-to-door -door and sold carpet cleaning services to property managers and to just residential homes. And grew that company for the next nine years, ended up buying out another company in Fresno, California. And then we bought another one in Houston, Texas. And I thought we were just going to grow our carpet cleaning empire and uh, just grow that. So um, 2018 hits right after Hurricane Harvey and insurance companies changed the way that they gave out water damage mitigation claims to companies down in Houston. We ended up losing over half of our business down there because of the, those changes. And um, uh, December 2018, I pulled out the little hair that I still have left in my head trying to figure out how to stop the bleeding. We were losing a lot of money every month. And uh, we were spending lots of money on Google and Yelp and Home Advisor and Thumbtack and Angie's List. And I'm like, this sucks. It is super expensive. It's really difficult to get good quality leads out of those platforms. And uh, anyway, and I needed to grow my company quickly. And so I was thinking, what's the most effective ad advertising I've ever done? I'm like, it has to be when I used to do door to door sales. Like, if I could talk to somebody for just a minute, let them know who I am as a human being, my chances of them becoming a customer go way up. Yet on Google and Yelp and all these online platforms, all I am is a star rating or a website listing or a phone number or a discount or a sale or something like that. I'm like, that's not who I am. And on average, it was taking 12 to 15 clicks to finally get one person to call off those platforms. Whereas if I was there in person, like if I could just talk to them for a minute, I knew that I would have a sale. But not, I'm not a pushy salesman. I just, I'm good at relating with people. And anyway, I thought, this isn't working. I need, a, I need something else that allows me to be a human being to people. 
So I had this idea to what we now call pitch cards. We started drawing these up and I'm like, you know what would be cool is if there was a search engine. It was like Google, but everybody came to life and introduced themselves for just a minute, told people who they are. And, and so if you're looking for a doctor or a plumber or a carpet cleaner, whatever you're looking for, if all those people were human beings to you rather than just a website listing where they all get to be avatars, whatever they want to be. And anyway, so we started creating Pick 59 and to help my carpet cleaning companies and started showing it to some other business owners. And they're like, oh, I would love that. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, let's, we ended up selling off our carpet cleaning companies to focus on this. And then we just launched this last April. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now if that's okay. I'm going to have to do your share. Yeah, okay. Okay. Do this. Okay. There we go. Thinking about it, and there we go. All right. So um, we ended up creating a platform called Pitch 59. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my pitch card for you here, and then I'm going to show you a bit of different parts of the pitch card and then how the platform works here. So oh, let's see where I'm No sound? Yeah, I'm not getting sound. You have to click on something to know the sound. I've oh, got share sound open. Let's try this one more time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know where we're not getting sound. We were getting sound before I thought. We were. Yeah. I just shared it. I don't know. Okay, while we're figuring this out, I'm going to give you my elevator pitch in person here instead of. Try it again. Hi, my name is Jeff, and this is a pitch card. It lets you deliver your 59 second elevator pitch to tell people who you are, what you do, and what's unique and different about you. It also makes it really simple for your customers, friends, and referral partners to introduce you to their contacts in less than 10 seconds. 82% of small business owners rely on referrals as their primary source of growth. Yet out of 100 happy customers, only four of them on average make referrals and introductions for the companies that they like. It's because the traditional way of making referrals is complicated, awkward, and just takes too long. With pitch cards, those that refer you don't have to figure out what to say or how to say it or what information to include. It's all done for them. You share your pitch card, they tap share and choose which method they would like to introduce you with. Then they simply add the person's name, email or phone number and tap send. It's that easy. And they don't even have to log in, sign up or download anything. We're on a mission to make it really easy for everyone to introduce you in less than 10 seconds. Welcome to Pitch 59. All right, so we created these pitch cards that make it, obviously everybody wants more referrals, right? Referrals are the best way to grow your business. Um, however, in my carpet cleaning experience, sometimes I would hear my customers introvert refer us while we were there cleaning, they'd be on the phone with their mom or their sister or something like that. And uh, I would hear the way that they would refer us and I'm like, oh, you're killing it. <laughs> you're butchering what you do. That's not what we do really. And I would be there cleaning. We do a, we did a truck mount steam cleaning with rotary extraction. It was a phenomenal cleaning. And I would hear a customer say, yeah, they're here. They brought in a machine and it rubs the carpet. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. That yeah. doesn't rub your carpet. That's not what we do. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> sometimes getting referrals is like playing the game of telephone where you tell your customer one thing and then that totally gets distorted and they tell somebody else and then that gets distorted. So one of the beautiful things about these pitch cards is your message is always consistent and clear because it always comes from you. So We've created these pitch cards so that anybody can share them with anybody at any time, and it does all the work for them. So on your pitch card, it's got your 59-second elevator pitch. It's also got video testimonials, so that lets your customers, your friends, referral partners, your family, people like to vouch for you in person. You've got all of your contact information right here, so others can call or email. They can get directions. They can schedule appointments if you have a scheduling software or something like that. They can request that you contact them. They can also just easily add you to their contacts. I'll show you that in a second. It's got more information right there. So you can put on like social media links, website, any additional written information that you want to share with people. And then you can also attach any photos, files, or documents to your pitch card as well. And uh, so they'll go everywhere that your pitch card goes. So uh, one of the cool things about Pitch 59 is we want it to be incredibly easy. Um, people are lazy in general. We don't want to have to figure out how to, how to do all the stuff that we want to do. And so if 
For example, if I asked you to refer me right now without my pitch card, most of you are going to say, if you like the product or if you like me or something like that, you'd probably say yes, right? But what happens when I leave this room or when we all get separated and we all get back to work? What happens? You get distracted. Things. The things don't happen. The referrals, that's, that's the primary reason that referrals don't end up happening is because people don't know what to say. They don't know how to say it. They don't know what information to include. And it's awkward. It just feels uncomfortable to try and generate this information and all this, this uh, referral for you when I, I'm not an expert on your business and I don't want to do more damage than good. But also, um, my reputation is online. So if I say something wrong or something like that, it reflects poorly on me. So in general, people only, re only refer people or refer things that make them look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my pitch card, and then I'm going to show you how within like five to 10 seconds, you'll be able to do a professional, really well done three-way introduction for me to somebody else. So if you'll open up your phones on your, and just open up your cameras real quick, I'm going to give you my pitch card here. I should show you how I'm doing this too. So all I'm doing is you can either tap the share button or if you have the app, you can just swipe up. And when you do that, you can share your pitch card through any method. It works on all platforms, text, email, social media, QR code, airdrop. We're actually building in NFC so that you'll be able to tap other people's phones. That doesn't work all the time, so it's not a, a huge uh, priority right now. But the QR code always works. So if you'll just scan that QR code real quick, my pitch card is going to pop up on your screen. And then maybe just give me a quick thumbs up when that does. Are you guys in the back getting it okay? Yeah. Somebody else can text it to you or something like that too, if, you, if you'd like. So when my pitch card pops up, I'm gonna have you do two things. First of all, if you'll just tap the save button right here, it's right underneath the contact button. What that's gonna do is it's gonna save all my contact information and my pitch card to your phone. So once again, just tap the save button right here. And it'll save all my contact information to your phone with my pitch card. So you'll always have my pitch card. You don't have to have the app or anything in order to keep my pitch card on your phone. So once you've done that, go back to my pitch card, if you would. It's just going to be in your browser. And then let's just to show you, go ahead and tap the contact button right there. And then say you wanted to schedule an appointment with me. If you'll go ahead and tap the schedule right there, it hyperlinks out to my channel date right there. Or you can use Chili Piper, Salesforce, or HubSpot, whatever you use. And people can schedule an appointment with you directly. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I think that's cool. Okay, now this is where the magic happens, though. If you'll go ahead and tap the share button right there, and then go ahead and tap the pink and purple introduce button. What that's going to do is it's going to create a three way introductory text that includes my phone number, my default introduction with how I'd like to be introduced, and my pitch card right there. So all you do is just add somebody's name or phone number and tap send, and you made a three-way introduction for me. So it should take five to six seconds to make a three-way introduction. So we hit introduce? Yep, tap this pink and purple introduce button. And it'll do all the work for you. So all of, so anybody's message, they get to create their own message that they would like to be introduced with, and, and it will generate the message. Did that work for you? Everybody so this automatically put you as the sender? It'll as the recipient. Yep. So I'm I'm gonna go to in fact let me go to Jeff's pitch card real quick. And um actually before I even pull up here's Jeff, I probably ought to show the pocket feature here. Okay, so there's a couple of things that you can do on the on the pitch cards. Um this is gonna be app only, so you'll want to pay attention to my screen right here. So you, I showed you, you can swipe up and show the pitch cards. You can also swipe down and put them in pockets. Think of pockets like a Rolodex. It's a way to keep them all organized. So when I go to my pockets page down here at the bottom, I have all these different pockets on here. So if I wanted to introduce you to an accountant of mine, I can just tap on the accounting pocket, tap on his pitch card, swipe up and okay. introduce. It'll put in his phone number, his default message in his pitch card. So all I do is just add Jeff Marchand or somebody else right there and tap send. Wait, I lost you on pocket. Uh, this is going to be on the app. You got to have the app for this oh, part. So these are just just pockets that I've created, and okay. it, you can create your own pockets on Vision. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go down to Jeff's uh, to my real estate pocket, though, and I'm going to go to Jeff's pitch card here. And to say, let's go ahead and watch this pitch, and then I'm going to show you how I introduce him. 
Oh, are we missing body points? The deal. I don't know what I'm doing here. That's shouldn't, shouldn't have changed. Is that what it is? All right. So Jess Sam will not normally claim this. So I'm yeah, saying some cool stuff. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it's not playing. So he's got a 59 second elevator pitch. You can't go over 59 seconds on pitch 59, which is why it's called pitch 59. So I can grab this pitch card right here and just swipe up on it. Have it introduced. He's going to put in Jeff's phone number with his default method with how he wants to be introduced right there. And so all I just do is put in somebody else's. Let's put in Brent here. I'm going to make an introduction for you. I'm just going to say hi, Brent, so that they know, so that you know who I'm introducing to. Mm -hmm. And send. So I just made a three-way introduction, so that now they can be connected. Brent can watch Jeff's pitch, get to know him, check out video testimonials, all of his contact information, more info right there. He's got all that information available to him now, and he doesn't have to log in or download or sign up or anything. So, um, a couple of other things that you'll want to know about the Pitch 59 app. You can also go, let me go to the, like the search platform here. You can flip over anybody's pitch card and just chat with them right there on the app if you have the app. It's just a simple and easy way to network with everybody else that has pitch cards. So you can you can also find everybody else that has a pitch card on pitch 59. This is a I'm on search page called the search carousel. And so from the search carousel, you can swipe up and share them with other people. You can swipe down and put them in pockets to keep them for later. Which we're getting a little bit. Once back. they have the app though, right? They're not they can't do this from your pitch card. You can do it from the website. From the website. From when you share your pitch card, wait, we're getting stuck here for some reason. I'm going to try sharing it one more time for screencasting. Uh, when you share your pitch card with other people, they're only going to have access to your pitch card. If they go to the Pitch 59 website, they can access everybody's pitch cards. Um, we are kind of quietly and secretly creating uh, a really cool search experience so that, like, for example, if you were looking for a carpet cleaner on here, you can come in on here and search for carpet, and it'll pull up all the companies that do that kind of a service, and you can watch their pitch right here. Which we're not going to send. Yeah, that's all right, though. And you can check out everybody else and what they're doing and everything right here. So um, the Pitch 59 platform is just a network of human beings that all introduce themselves for 59 seconds with their own individual cards. The use case for realtors, especially for realtors, like my brother is a broker down in, in St. George. He does a lot of uh, investment real estate. This is his pitch card right here. And I can just grab his pitch card and just introduce him to anybody at any time, which I do frequently. In fact, Jeff, I'll have to introduce you to him too as well, because he would be a good connection for you. Um, Sorry about the sound. No, it's it's getting stuck there. That's okay. Anyway, um, so this is his pitch card. So it's it's just very easy to keep all of your contacts in one pocket. You get three your own pockets. Uh, for realtors, I would recommend that you guys create like a home service pocket. And you can even share these pockets. So you just long hold on the pocket. And it'll it'll take everybody in that pocket right there. So I've gone to this is like a minute behind. Sorry, I'm, it's a little bit confusing. <laughs> so, so I've got like in my home services pocket, I've got like electric and gas savings, a bed bug pest control, window cleaning. Uh, there's uh, pressure washing, carpet cleaning, a roofing company, all that kind of thing. So what you can do, when you're thinking about it, I know you can do it. What you can do is just grab this whole pocket here and share this entire pocket with the clients. It doesn't matter if they have the app or not, they'll get all the pitch cards in that pocket there. Okay, and then uh, just the last couple of things here. The ladder. Yeah, there's a big lag. Okay, above your pitch card, you're going to see data and analytics right here. Like it says that my pitch card has been shared 234 times this month. If you're getting your pitch card shared 234 times each month, like that's a round of applause. That's amazing. You should do that. Like shoot for that. This is the company pitch card that's been shared 161 times. If I tap on the little data and analytics icon right there, it'll pull up all the data on how many pitch cards performing. So I'm going to go to the last 30 days and it shows that this one's been shared 211 times in the last 30 days. It's been watched 65 times, contacted 100 times, saved contacts eight times. And if you scroll down, if people have the app, it'll show you who's doing it, how they're doing it, and what method they're using. 
when they're doing it. Um, if they don't have the app, it'll just say unknown because because we make it so easy for everybody to introduce you to their neighbors. Like you can give your pitch card to every one of your customers without them having a pitch card in an app, and they can introduce you in five or six seconds. So if that's the case, it'll just say unknown. It'll still tell you how they're introducing you and how and when they're doing it, but it won't show you their. With pitch views here, you can see when people are watching your pitch and how long they're watching your pitch for. If they're watching your pitch for less than 10 seconds on average, um, your pitch sucks and you need to redo it. <laughs> That's <a question. laughs> um, if they're contacting you, it's going to show you how they're contacting you and when they're contacting you, all that kind of thing. And same, same thing with save the, the save the contact center. Um, pitch 59 requires that everybody has an elevator pitch, obviously. And so with this, <laughs> Maybe we should have kept the HDMI company. Oh, uh, it's all right. It'll, it'll come to life in just a second. Here. <laughs> um, we have made it real easy for you to create your elevator pitch. Um, however, Adam, if he's here, I don't know if he's here or yet. You know if he's here? Somebody yeah. Yeah. So Adam is going to talk for a minute about, he's a professional videographer that works a lot. There he is. He works a lot with Pitch 59. And um, <laughs> We recommend that everybody have help with a videographer, or if you have a friend that does video, get help doing a professional video because you gotta love your pitch. If you don't love your pitch, you're not gonna share it. Other people won't share it. If you love your pitch, it'll get shared way more often. So when you do your pitch, you just tap on the edit icon right there above your pitch card. It opens up all of your settings here, and I'm gonna just show you on my screen here. And you just tap on the pitch video tile, and then you can we give you four options for your video. You can re record your pitch whenever you want by just tapping re record. It'll open up your video camera right here. It's got a 59 second countdown timer. We've got a built in teleprompter right there, so you can just write out your pitch if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. We have uh, pitch topics that'll give you ideas of things to talk about. And then we also have pitch tips right here that'll give you ideas on how to create a great pitch. You can also schedule a virtual video shoot with one of our team members, or you can schedule a professional shoot with a professional videographer like Adam. Um, we we should be his best friend. We give him tons of business. In fact, this is his. I personally introduce Adam frequently. There's there's a bunch of other videographers that we introduce to, but this is his pitch card right here. And whenever somebody says, hey, "I'd like help with my pitch video," all we do is just tap on his pitch card, swipe up, and introduce him to somebody else or to that person right there. Yeah. It's, can you add other media links to the cards like these Facebook, Instagram, YouTube websites? Absolutely. It's just on this more information right here, which is frozen. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see that, but you can add all of your social media links right there at website and get additional information. Just want to share. So, um, okay, any other questions that you have? Well, you, you just got everybody's information in this whole room, right? No, you actually got my information. I didn't get yours. Oh, you didn't get ours? No, it doesn't do a two way. It's only a one way. So unless you want to give me your information, you can send them back. Okay. Well, unless you did a three way text, he's on the three way text. Yeah, so if you did a three way text, text. text, what's up? Then we do that. Yeah, I don't know if you did it or not. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, several of you guys did three way introductions because I'm included in those conversations right now. So yeah. You had a question? Yes. So when you really good question so jeff is our an affiliate with us and because of that you guys get a 20 percent discount pitch 59 does not give discounts so um and if you ever want to create a pitch card and you want and to get it for a lesser price you have to you do it through an affiliate Thanks. But how many people you can have as many pictures as you want Okay. So it's 12 bucks uh, with this code. It's going to be 12 bucks a month per pitch card. And we have teams that are creating like uh, 50 to 100 pitch cards for all of their teams. Most people get one or two pitch cards for themselves. If you have multiple businesses, you can have a couple of different pitch cards yourself for those. Um, if you, I'm just going to have to show you on this because it's not streaming there. But I myself use five or six different pitch cards here. So depending on the, the person that I'm talking to or the audience, I'll use a different pitch card there and show that with them. That's great, thank you. You bet. We also give everybody the first month free because you're gonna need a little bit of time to create your pitch. And uh, so that's typically when we say talk with videographer. They also do, um, Adam and a couple of other videographers, they do uh, pitch days where, have you set that up yet, Adam? No, I'm right. still working on it. Okay, 
So they're doing, they're going to be doing pitch days where anybody that wants to do an elevator pitch for their pitch card, you can come to their studio. They'll do, a, it's a cheaper uh, price because they just record it there in studio and then they'll edit your video and everything you put it on for you. And so um, one of the other things that we recommend oftentimes is that if a brokerage wants to do pitch cards, just have a videographer come in for the day and do everybody's pitches at the same time. And that way they can really help you get a really good pitch that you love and it's a lot cheaper for you. But instead of having the video out with them, I'll make a great person. Yeah. Anybody on Zoom have questions? How much does that uh, usually cost? Because we do a group setting, bring in a group of people and do that versus going to, um, you know, going to their place. Yeah. Adam, do you want to talk about that for a minute and just kind of, mm -hmm. why don't you come up? Here and just chat for a minute about kind of how you do it and what you do. Yeah, so um, for me, I, when I'm doing an individual video, my base rate to come out and just shoot a single video is 600 bucks, which is actually a deal. I, I was originally planning on doing these for a thousand a piece, but I was like, you know what, I want to try to provide as much value as I can and get people on the platform and just get them using the app because without a good video, you're not going to use it, right? So um, a single video is 600 bucks. What I was doing for groups, though, was if I come in and we can get at least four or five people who are ready to shoot their video, I can do them for like $350 a piece. So get a really good discount when we do a group rate. It makes it worth my team's time to come out and set up lights and audio and all of that stuff. So I was planning on talking all about all of that stuff, too, and I, I brought lunch. I don't know if you're yeah, go for it. done. No, go ahead. I, I mean, I have a whole presentation, so I go can do it. I don't know when I start that part. Right now, you can do it right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let me grab my laptop. Yeah, some stuff. Do you have a PowerPoint? Um, yeah, I, I have a slide presentation. Can you email it to me? I'll just pull it up right here. Um, uh, yeah, I actually see my on that. Okay, have it on Canva. Jeff I have a question for yeah. you. So, what are your recommendations for like? Engaging people past that first 10 seconds to like keep them watching. Either that or you could log in. Yeah, them while you're allowed to watch share your screen yeah. through there or you should talk about it. Oh, okay. So, you know, while you're doing that, let me talk about the elevator pitch for yes. a second. So, um, yes, as far as the actual pitch goes itself, you only get 59 seconds. And so, it really needs to be well thought out what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. Um, we recommend that you do it in four steps. So the first step is going to be your introduction, where you you got to humanize yourself. You've got to become relatable so that people can get like feel like you're in their tribe type of thing. The next thing that you're going to do is talk about pain points that people in your industry are dealing with. Like what do your customers, if you're in real estate, what are the frustrations with buying a home or selling a home? Or what are the main problems that they often experience with other realtors or other other uh, situations that they may be in? Um, the next thing that you talk about is your res resolution, how you resolve those pain points for those customers. And then the last one is just a call to action. So you've got uh, you've got your introduction, you've got your pain points, you've got your resolution, and then you've got your call to action. So in your pain points, we talk about um, we talk about shark bites. So if if you are um, say you're at the beach and you get a shark bite and like half of your leg is missing type of thing. You go to the hospital and the doctor, the first thing the doctor says to you is, hey, welcome to our hospital. Um, we've got this great lotion that does a really good job of remo removing wrinkles and start talking to you about all the vitamin D and vitamin C and how good it is for your skin. Are you going to care? No. No, 100%. What do you want if your half of your leg is missing? Leg back on. <laughs> I want my leg back on. I want morphine. I need you to clean this up, sew me up, like save my life type of thing. <laughs> Too often, as whether you're a realtor or a carpet cleaner, whatever you do, we tend to focus on those lotions too much, like the little nuances of what we do. Like, yeah, I'm a realtor, and I buy, I help people buy and sell their house. Well, we know that already. So don't say that in your pitch. Like, you, we already get that. But if you come to life and say, you know what? A lot of people, when they're buying a house, it's a super stressful time for you. You're trying to figure out where and how to sell your own home. You've got the kids in school. You've got all this other stuff that's going on in your life. You don't know. You don't want to pay too much for the home. You don't want to do this. This is where I come in. I'm an expert at helping you feel comfortable throughout the, or whatever you do. So you want to make sure that you kind of focus on those four areas, but focus on those pain points, like those shark bites, not just the the lotions that you provide, because those aren't the things that motivate people to take action. 
So I love that it's just a minute because I feel like short skin. Yeah. But I know I, I'm no expert in making reels, but when I try to make them and I think it's short and then I go look at the length and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's so much longer than That's I thought. It's so hard to get like, get it short. It's got to be clear, concise and to the point. Yeah. We, I recommend kind of scripting it out first. Yeah. You can do an interview style. Like Adam's done several of those where he just sits down and asks you questions and then he'll put your video for you together. Um. The, the it really helps to have somebody help you do your pitch yeah um, because they'll give you feedback and say you know what that's that's not that's nice but that's not critical um oftentimes we get into our own brains too much where we're like oh i shouldn't say this or i should say this or whatever and really what people need to hear is something different yeah. so having, yeah. having a videographer or somebody else help you is, is really beneficial thank you yeah okay i think we're good all right Sweet. 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 <clears throat> I can just tap the right here. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, um, thanks for having me here. I'm excited to be here. It's been a minute since I uh do we need to oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I, he was talking over there. Okay. <laughs> it's been a minute since I presented to a group of real estate agents, so this is exciting. Um so my company is called Osprey Media. Um a little bit about me. I'm the owner. I started Osprey Media back in 2016. Um, I'm a FAA certified drone pilot. Uh, that was kind of where I got my start was with drones. So um, I've done a lot of like drone real estate videos and those types of things. That, in fact, before I even started doing videography, I was just doing drone videos for real estate agents for a bunch. And I really liked it, but then I wanted to be able to offer more. Um, I've had the opportunity to travel the world creating video content for businesses. This is a picture of me in the, the streets of Hong Kong. Um, I was out there with a company for the, like a product launch they were doing. And my number one goal is just to help business owners grow their businesses through video content. I learned early on that I prefer working with businesses over individuals. Um, wedding videos are not my thing. So uh, mm -hmm. if you've got one of those, don't talk to me about it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Okay, so let's see here. Oh, this is my pitch card. So if you guys get a chance to just pop out your phone, yep. scan my QR code right there, and then save my contact information, I would love that. And then um, shoot me a text if you want to, so, just so I've got your, your name and number, and I'd love to just chat and see what I can do to be helping each of you with your businesses, whatever that might look like. So everyone got that? Mm -hmm. Is that working for you? There we go. Um, and I'm actually going to play the video for you um, that I have on my pitch card. I'm just going to check this out. Maybe. I think it was just hits. I hope it's good. Oh, should, yeah. Should be able to just click play. Or I don't know if I need to click on this thing to start it. I don't know. Where did the video go? Maybe I have to click play on the other one. Oh, yeah. yeah Please sure. go back to that. It should load. You may have heard the saying that content is king, but the real trick is making content that's engaging. I believe that video is the most effective way to engage with your audience. Hi, I'm Adam Orchard, the owner and founder of Osprey Media. I spent years thinking about my dream of getting into video production. And since 2016, I've been running a successful business doing what I love. I've put in the work, trained under successful mentors, and worked hard to hone my craft. The footage you see here is from a few of my favorite projects that I've had the opportunity to produce over my career as a content creator. Now that I've told my story though, let's tell yours. Osprey Media focuses on business content. We can film anything from training videos to social media content, and even documentaries and talking head style videos. We also shoot your product videos, special events, and weddings. So just reach out to us by clicking the contact button. I mean, we look yeah. forward to bringing yeah. your story to life. I've found my path. The more I, the more I've done this, I, I was like, oh, I could still do weddings, but I just they're, they're not for me. I can do a really great wedding video, but it's just not my not really my uh, favorite type of market to be working in. So um, I love the B-roll. Yeah, and, and change it without the. That's a big part of the pitch card video. So when I work with somebody on their pitch card video, I um, I like to gather B-roll that we can use to kind of help tell that story. So um, 
One thing we would do, it's kind of hard when we're doing like the group videos with everybody around, but we try to get a chance to shoot a little bit of B-roll of you like maybe interacting with people. And then I might even ask you to send me some assets if you've got like some lifestyle stuff or whatever that might look like. Um, and then, or if we need to, uh, one thing I can do is we can, we can book a time where I can come out with you and shoot some custom B-roll that you can use in your Facebook reels, your Instagram videos, whatever that might look like. Um, I, one thing I do is I, I build libraries of, of footage. So we come out and spend a day shooting, and then you have a whole library of, of video that you can have available for, for your social media, your website. There's a lot of things that we can do. So um, I want to talk a little bit about video marketing for real estate businesses and why that is important. How many of you guys are doing like regular video content, right? Okay. Kind of a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. Working with it. Yeah. Video content, I, I'd say in any video, in any business, video content is probably the most effective form of marketing these days. There's just so much more that you can convey in a video than you can with just a regular picture with some text on there. And so um there's a, a few things. I was doing some research on, on videos for real estate, and a couple of interesting things I found. 73% of homeowners say that they are more likely to, to list real, with a real estate agent who uses video, but only about 10% of agents are taking advantage and using this strategy in the market. So I would say the first thing with video is it's going to be one of those things that kind of sets you apart from, from the competition. There's a lot of real estate agents in, in Utah. How do you stand out? How do you set yourself apart in this competitive market that we're in uh, and the competitive real estate market that we're in? Um, it has an impact on lead generation studies, and these are from like National Association of Realtors that I found these. Studies show that real estate listings with videos get about 403 more percent more inquiries than those without. Uh, you're going to get a lot more engagement with those listings when you're using video to show off the property, and it just gets, it's a more immersive way for somebody to see, to see what you're listing. And then including video in your email marketing can increase click-through rate by 300, up to 300%. And that's a statistic that comes straight, straight from HubSpot. So there's a ton of value in doing video. Um, if a picture is worth a thousand words, how much do you think a video is worth? It, it just goes way beyond what a, what a picture is able to do. So um, the, the key about video content though, is it's something you've got to be consistent with. So um, a few benefits of being consistent with your, your video, it helps grow your audience you get more exposure and better engagement. One thing I really love is it builds credibility and trust. People get to know who you are as a real estate agent. What are your values? Who, who you are, how you're going to provide value for them and help your, your clients, uh, oops, help your clients with, with their situation. Helps you stand out from the competition, provide a more personable way to engage with your audience and amazingly powerful sales tools and if you have a website and you're putting content on the regular, it can help you rank higher in the search engines as well. It makes your website more sticky so that when somebody goes to a website with a video, on average, they spend <laughs> two minutes longer on that web page than they do on a website without, which Google sees and it'll it'll raise your uh, your search rankings. <clears throat> so a few ideas for for you guys to be creating content, and I, I'll disclaim this and say. I don't necessarily think that everyone needs to hire me to do this job or to, to have content. There's a lot of value that I can provide, but whether you're working with a professional like myself or you're just doing it yourself, it needs to be done. Um, and so that's more important to me than whether or not you hire me, but I would love to be able to help you with this. So a few ideas, you can do property tours like we've kind of talked about. Um, they can be a really great way to show off the property. You're going to get better engagement, get people excited, and kind of show, in some ways, maybe the lifestyle and, and help sell that vision of them living in that house. Um, neighborhood tours are a really great way to go. And this is really great, especially for people who might be an out-of-town buyer. If they're not from this area and they want to understand what are they getting into, is this an area they actually want to live in? Highlighting some of the businesses or the amenities that are nearby can be a really great way to draw attention to your listings. Uh, testimonial videos. I shoot a ton of testimonial videos. And these are just kind of like a quick, hey, I worked with this person. We loved it. It was a great experience. You should talk to them as well. Um, and they can be a really powerful marketing tool. Um, Asian introductions. And this is kind of where like a pitch card comes in. 
This is where you get to introduce yourself and tell them how you can help their uh, help them with their listing and build that connection in a more personal way. And this is why I love Pitch 59 so much because it is it is just a better way to um, to engage with referrals. It's no longer a faceless referral when somebody just hands a business card, right? You now have that personal touch. People can hear your voice. They can hear, they can see your face, your smile, your personality. And it's just going to increase the, the, um, the likelihood that they actually reach out to you when that time comes. Uh, educational videos. There's so much value in educating people for free. When you can give, when, when you can teach people something without asking for something in return, man, that goes so far when it comes to engaging with the people in your audience, whether that's helping them understand what things like closing costs, or maybe then if you're a DIYer and you want to teach some DIY tips or for home improvement, all of this stuff can be really relevant to, uh, to real estate in, the, in this market. Uh, market updates. Obviously, the market's constantly changing. There's so many questions about what's happening in the market. Is this a good time to buy? What should I be doing? What should I be planning for? There's a lot of uncertainty, but you guys are the experts. So we want to hear from you and, and learn about you know, where we are in our, in our current situation. Um, behind the scenes, and this is, this is more than anything, I, I think that this is where uh, it's really valuable to be doing content yourself, right? It's not like you can hire a videographer to constantly follow you around everywhere like a celebrity. But this is, everyone has a cell phone. If you're out and about, you're showing a home, you're uh, meeting with a, a client, these are great opportunities to do a short video that's just showing who you're, what you're doing in your day-to-day. -day. It helps kind of add that personal touch to, uh, to your business. So um, as I mentioned, you don't have to hire a professional to do this, but there are a few reasons to do that. Um, first is saves time and frustration. I don't know if you guys have ever tried learning how to edit a video before. Um, it can be really time consuming and it can be frustrating, especially when you're busy working with your clients, you're working with listings, you're looking for leads. The last thing you want to do is sit down and spend hours trying to edit a video. That's where I can come in. Um, higher quality enhances perceived value and low quality does the opposite. You know, and when you have a higher quality video, it, it uh, makes you look good in the eyes of, of the person seeing your video. And so it shows that you care about your reputation. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Instead of just doing a quick selfie, you're saying, look, I'm investing in this because I want you to see your food. I really am. Yeah, exactly. And, um, and and it helps build trust for people when they see that you're doing that, when, when you're, you're doing high quality video, and that's something that they might get from you by working with you, then you're going to get higher uh, engagement from people. And relying on an expert who keeps up on trends. As real estate agents, your jobs are to keep up on the market and know what's going on. My job is to know what's, what's trending in video and how I can help my clients be successful with their content. And lastly, my job is to make you look good. And that's really what I want to do in the end. So um, that's what I had for my slide presentation. Can I show a couple of your also a couple of your videos that you've done, if that's okay? Yeah, sure. Can I just do it through HDMI and have you turn the camera here? Would that be cool? Uh, yeah. I mean, we can, what videos do you want to show? Because I've got, oh, well, on my, on picture. Yeah, I'll, I'll show them on picture. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll show Mark's for sure. Okay. He just did, um, he just did uh, my brother's um, pitch card. So my brother, uh, let me tell you about his experience. If I can put that. Yeah, he, my brother is, is an investor in Pitch59, and he um, was one of the first that created a pitch card. However, he didn't use it very much over the first year or two, as we were building it out, that was kind of to be expected. But anyway, he just barely, uh, just a few weeks ago, had his uh, pitch done professionally with Adam and absolutely loves it. And last week alone, or the, the week prior, he was with us at the NAR conference last week. Uh, the week prior, he'd gotten nine referrals that week alone, where they were all professional three-way introductions. And then he got several, like, I don't know how many appointments he got scheduled off of that, but it was nine referrals in one week. How would that change your business if you got nine referrals in one week? Like the especially professional, really well done through introductions there. So if it's okay, it, let me see it's gonna be on HDMI too. Right I'm now. gonna pull up this again. Uh let's see. I don't know, even if we just do it on the TV and then just turn this, because it wasn't working, if my phone wasn't really casting very well when I was doing the screen there. iPhone, iPad. I think I need to close his presentation first. Oh. 
while he's doing that, there's there's a couple of things that approaches that we can take when it comes to shooting. And that I, I I open this. Okay. So sometimes we do a scripted thing where we write out a perfect script. Let's do it. You yeah, set up a yeah. You set up a teleprompter and you read your script to the camera. Or we can do kind of more like a free flowing thing where I ask questions and you give responses to the camera. It depends on your style. So if you want to talk about it, we can definitely sit down and kind of talk about like styles for videos and, and what fits your personality and, and your business and your brand. And um, there can be a few ways to kind of approach that. And then we just chop it up and, and we can add B-roll and, and add music. Uh, one thing I've also been doing is I've been adding captions to the Pitch 59 videos. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I love that. Nick, I was talking to Nick and he was like, dude, that's awesome. Because, you know, anytime you can do that, it helps It helps improve um, understanding of the video too. Like they get more out of the video when they can read the captions along with what you're saying. So when I can throw captions in there, that helps a lot. And then B-roll um, and the music just does a ton to help as well, so. Awesome. Hold on, I gotta. Try and make his brief. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think. But I it's still it. showing. Let me, let me do this. So just a couple of pitch cards. I'll give you guys a couple of ideas of how other people are using their pitch cards and what they're, what they're doing in their pitches. Um, and not just in real estate. But pitch cards work for everybody. It doesn't matter what space you're in. So. Um, Sorry, I, I need a third yeah. person. Uh, Daddy, you can just move the video over. Let me see if we've got Sam here. Hey, it's Jeff Marsh. It's the Marsh Real Estate Group. Do you want me to go ahead and show yours here? Um, yeah, but I want them to see it on Zoom. Oh, do you want to just turn the yes. camera here and just? If you you should be able to if you hit share screen. Uh, you yeah, share sound. That's good, and then it should oh, be probably, the iPhone. IPad. That probably disconnected me from the screen. Oh, it right. might have. So I can't share that screen oh. while you're connected to it. You're probably right. Oh, interesting. Because it was on a different HDMI. Um, yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, could you do both? Like, listen, well, what's the difference? No, I don't know if you're not. All right, let's show Jeff's here. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, so you're going to have to do that. Okay. We're going to be XP. I'm happy to meet you. You know, I first became addicted to real estate like 30 years ago. You think my wife and I really well to people working part time in these jobs? When we bought our first joint tax return for a man total of eight thousand dollars, and yet that very next year we bought our first property. But we don't worry about that sort of rejection. Also, if you're going to become a homeowner, or you're looking to accumulate wealth and secure your retirement from real estate like that, or maybe you're just an agent that's looking for a better agent experience, something more. Reach out, save this pitch card, reach out to me, and let's connect. Awesome. So there's Jeff's pitch. Let's see if it'll go back. Hey, it's Jeff Marshall with the Marshall Real Estate Group at EXP. I'm happy to meet you. You know, I first became addicted to real estate. All right, I'm just going to keep them upside, right side up. Okay, I just dropped that this morning to get ready for this free coaching session. You did so. I'm a full time agent, so I help my friends and family and those who are referred to me by and sell real estate. And then I also help run the team. I help all the agents on our team with their clients, whether it's helping them list, helping with marketing, doing like just anything that they need to make sure that their clients are taken care of. I love all of my clients. And by the end of it, I hope that you are having a great time. Yeah, I'm going to go through a few here. While you're, one thing I also wanted to mention, I've, I've been starting to do is if somebody doesn't have the budget, to hire me to come out and shoot a video. I'm also offering a service where I consult and I work with you through shooting your own video and then you send me the footage and I edit. So I can like add captions, I can add music, we can mess with the cuts and everything. And that is 250 for to just send me the assets, send me whatever you want and I can do an edited video for you that way as well. Yeah, which is a great option. All right, here's uh, Mark's pitch. I'm just a bit of Mark Bitten. I've been a real estate investor, broker, and property manager for over 22 years, and I'm passionate about helping people build passive income streams in real estate. 
My goal with every client is twofold. One, help investors avoid making big mistakes. And two, find investments that help them achieve their goals. How do we do that? Well, we can eliminate risk and find better performing properties by collecting the right data and then running in-depth analysis on that data. The average person will spend 90,000 hours of their life working. The passive income helps to reduce the amount of time we to spend working. And let's just trade it for time with our family, for travel, or for pursuing the next adventure, whatever it may be. Investing isn't about money. It's about increasing both the quantity and the quality of the time that we have. To be successful, you can't just buy anything in real estate. You have to buy smart. But I can help you do that. Contact me today, and I'll help you get your portfolio on the right path. All right. Let me show you. Like one. Super, and he has a, one of his. Oh, yeah, his rent back one. one. Yeah, his rent back one is awesome. Let me, let me show this insurance one here. Yeah. Screen, yeah, it does. If I turn it, although it's my yeah. phone is being laggy, where okay. yeah, yeah, you can just turn it in over. Okay. Yep. My name is Courtney Widener. I'm the owner of Widener Insurance, and we are providing personal and commercial insurance for small business in the state of Texas. So I know I don't really look like an insurance agent. <laughs> When they see me, they're just like, oh, you do insurance, but I've been doing this for over 20 years, and I know insurance like the back of my hand. We like to take insurance to a new place. Insurance is something that can be really boring and tedious. A lot of folks right. don't know what they need for their insurance protection. It's just this thing that everybody understands they have to have. So we like to take this whole insurance buying experience and make it into something that is understandable. Really? You can find insurance for all about communicating in a way that's most effective for you. You've watched your pitch for 40 seconds now. If you're looking for insurance, would you be more likely to contact her now? I love her. Yeah. yeah, so so let's talk about this for just a second. What would she be like to work with? <laughs> Fun. Fun? Hey, do you feel like she she's well, like she knows her, her industry well? She knows her business. Like right the back of her hand. Look at that. And it's not even so much just what she says, it's also the way that she says it that makes you feel confident, like yeah. her metaverbal and nonverbal communication. And so it's just a like the way that you can come across in these pitch videos can really help people feel at ease. It'll break down barriers, it'll make them feel like they can know, like, and trust you. And it just makes it really simple to get those referrals and introductions and become human to those people as well. So that's um with that i think we can kind of wrap this up does anybody have any final questions here we no did questions? that good <laughs> okay. you covered it you covered it cool. i have yes. a question um can you can you link your i don't know if it's a website or whatever to your google page your pitch card yeah sure. Come on. yes your uh your pitch card can be, it, it's a link as well. It's a yeah. QR code, it's a link, it can be airdropped, it can be sent however you want, but it's a link. So you can attach it to your LinkedIn profile, but you can put it on your website. You can actually, in the future, we're gonna create widgets so that you can put that, your pitch card widget on your website and all that kind of stuff so that it's actually your pitch card there. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of other stuff that's coming out too. There are right now, in fact, next week, we're gonna release a new uh, share screen when you swipe up and share pitch cards, right now you can only do a three-way introduction through text. The next year is gonna allow it through text and email, and it'll do all the same stuff on social media. So if somebody wants to share your pitch card on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or something, it'll have all of your default messages, how you want to be introduced with your pitch card and everything for them. So we're just trying to make it so that anybody can refer and introduce you to their customers their, or their friends, their family, their referral partners in like five or six seconds without them having to do anything else. So, um, by the way, with realtors, just to make it very clear, the way that you use a pitch card, it would become your new business card. You can use it. You can actually attach your pitch card to another like dot or popple or if you use a different business card. Um, in my mind, you, you don't really need it. It's it's uh, pitch 59 functions as your business card. So you'll use it as, at networking events. But if I were you, every single client, every single referral partner that I have, I'm sharing my pitch card with them and asking them to just make one introduction in less than 10 seconds. So when you let them know that it only takes less than 10 seconds, they're like, oh, okay. And when they see how cool it is, that it's actually a uh, human being that they're introducing to their friends and family, they're a lot more likely to do it than just introducing a business or just a name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this is free for the public to see all of the vendors and things right there, right? Yeah, the only thing you charge for is a pitch card if you want okay. to run a pitch card. 
no. No, and it's unlimited shares, it's unlimited views. Like we don't charge anything else. Okay, in the future, exactly. we might need to, but right now we don't. It's 12 bucks a month. Um, the promo code, in fact, we'll stay around for just a few minutes during lunch. If you guys would like a pitch card, we'll help you create that. It'll take two or three minutes on your phone. And um, we'll use uh, the death margin affiliate code so that you get a discount on that too. Is that the promo code, Jeff Marchant? It's Jeff Marchant, all one word. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Awesome. Hey, you guys on Zoom. Thanks for sticking around, hanging out. Um, reach out if I can do anything for you if you need the, the affiliate link so you can get a discount when, if you want to sign up and. Um, Use pitch 59. Okay. We'll see you. Let me check the chat here. Thanks. They're saying things. Wait, Kitty said, I wish I had this last week at NAR. <laughs> oh, was she at the legislative meetings? Yeah. Nick, uh, we were there too. Yeah. Kitty, can you hear me? You can unmute yourself. Yes, I was there. So, what the heck is up with the fan? Yes, I was at the legislative. Sorry, me, uh, Kitty, I don't hear you. Is there your volume all the way up in this? Yeah. I think I need to change speakers. I think I can hear you now, Kitty. Yes, I was at the legislative meetings in D.C. Oh, cool. We were there, too. We had a little booth there. Way cool. I popped into the trade show for just, like, five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. I was mostly over at uh, the Renaissance with yeah, Women's Council of Realtors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard to hear. Sorry, everybody's been talking. That's all. She's going to chat something. So she was saying she was in the legislative meetings in DC. Yeah. And I was at the trade show for five minutes. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Uh, mostly the Renaissance for the Women's Council meetings. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, that was great. Awesome. Super cool. Well, let's get you one. Kitty, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. You're going to log on. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, see you getting. Yeah, over a hundred. Yeah, over a hundred.